Hello everyone, myself is Neha, volunteer of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. In this video, we are going to learn about examination of printed documents, contents, introduction, guidelines for the forensic document examination, high speed mainframe line, chain, and drum printers, dot matrix printer, inkjet printing technology, monochrome and color laser or LED printer. Thermal paper, solid ink or inkjet printing, fax machine, and conclusion. Introduction Even in the age of internet and digital communication, paper is used extensively as an important carrier of information. Technological advances, however, have made the printed document easy to modify for malicious purposes. Therefore, document authenticity plays an important role in forensic science where documents are disputed in a court of law. In fact, question document examination has become an important discipline within forensic science. Question document examination deals with scientific techniques that can provide evidences about a suspicious or questionable document. Guidelines for the forensic document examination. An examination will often be conducted to help answer the questions that are at issue in the case. Some of these questions are likely to include First one is, is the document an original or copy? Is it possible to identify the printing technology dated? Third one is, was the question prepared using more than one technology? Fourth one is, is there proof that one or more pages in a document with multiple pages were prepared alternatively to the other? Fifth one is, is there is any proof that the text in the document has been changed or added to? Then sixth one is, are there any glaring printing flaws that could cause the device to malfunction being distinctive? High speed mainframe line chain and drum printer. This printer's output is more likely to be seen on older documents than on more recent ones. There is a good possibility that an impact printer like a dot matrix printer or one of these high speed laser printers was used to print the document. If it is printed on tracer feed green bar paper, Brisk printer's monospaced output from line printers typically has 10 characters per inch and uses the all capital letters used by older printers. But the more recent line printers could use a complete upper and lower case alphabet. Courier is one of the available font. The word itself are solidly formed like the characters on typewriters. The text on the paper was created being skewed through an inked ribbon, despite the fact that the may have the appearance of being made of little dots or dashes. That this is an illusion brought on by the view of the ribbon of printed dot fabric. Dot matrix printer. Dot matrix printers are utilized often today in contexts where carbon or carbonless forms are printed since they use the impact printing technique. Cash registers and medical records, tax forms and receipts are common types of document printed on dot matrix printers. The 9 vertical and 18 vertical as two column pin arrays are the most prevalent ones found in dot matrix printers and 24 pins of 9 as two vertical column of 12. Inkjet printing technology. Continuous drop and drop on demand inkjet printers are the two type available. All of today's desktop inkjet printers fall under the second category known as drop on demand. In forensic lab, it's likely that the majority of the question documents that are found will be from this inkjet printing variety. But for commercial high-speed applications, the continuous likelihood of finding a drop printer is higher. Lottery, bulk mailings, packaging, and barcoding some of the more popular uses for high-speed continuous drop printers. Monochrome and color laser or LED printer. Laser or LED printers use dry toner as their ink both on black and white and color printing. But keep in mind that toner is also used by color and black and white copiers. 
despite the fact that certain old and serographic devices used pressure rollers to crush the toner into paper fiber to melt a thermoplastic binder combined with the metal in current machines heated fuser rollers are used to toner consequently some serographic printers will create pictures or text with a glassy glossy appearance but many of the more recent micro fine toners have a significantly flatter appearance thermal paper the output from thermal wax printers has a poor resolution but highly saturated colors the sticky ink can be removed from the paper surface with a scalpel pin this method is also used by some plain paper fax machines multiplex pcr procedure the pcr procedure initiates with dna extraction using a dna extraction kit or protocol high quality dna is extracted purified and diluted to add the reaction all the reagents are first taken and thawed first add the dntps cocktail to the reaction tube add multiplex buffer to that usually the reaction buffer may have ingredients such as magnesium chloride dmso salt potassium chloride add primers simultaneously to the reaction add probe or dye if the assay is quantitative add the template dna to the reaction fax machine multitasking is not supported by fax machine both fax machines must be in good working in order to transmit and receive faxes there is no method to transmit a document if any of the devices breaks down unless they are fixed or replaced an issue with the scanning head on the sending machine might lead to a vertical black line often known as printing void in faxed documents advantages internal controls potential problems in simple pcr include false negatives due to reaction failure or false positive due to contamination false negatives are often revealed in multiplex assays because each amplicon provide an internal control for other amplified fragments second one is efficiency the expense of reagents and preparation time is less in multiplex pcr than in systems where several tubes of uniplex pcrs are used A multiplex reaction is ideal for conserving costly polymerase and templates in short supply. Third, indication of template quality. The quality of the template may be determined more efficiently in multiplex than in a simple PCR reaction. Fourth one is indication of template quantity. The exponential amplification and internal standard of multiplex PCR can be used to assess the amount of a particular template in a sample. to quantitate template accurately by multiplex pcr the amount of reference sample the number of reaction cycle and the minimum inhibition of theoretical doubling of product for each cycle must be accounted these are the references of this video thank you for watching our video please like share and subscribe our channel